edition of the Young Talent Architecture Award, and we want to thank you all for being here this afternoon. I remember the first time we had this ceremony, that was two years ago in the Piccolo Teatro uh, here in Venice. And together with Ms. van der Rohe, uh, our long-standing partner, we tested this new uh, prize, this new event. And it seems that we passed this test because this time we are back to Venice for the second edition. We know, thanks to the Ms. van der Rohe Award and the Emerging Architect, what our architects producing when they are in their 40s, in their 60s, but we don't know about them in their 20-somethings. A contribution to the contemporary debate on the programmatical and architectural future of the Bau Academy. Hendrik Bringman, Berlin University of the Art. These days the debate restarted about reconstructing the Bau Academy. On this drawing, we see the historic city center of Berlin in different layers of time to get a better understanding of how the site of the Bauer could be changed over time. Uh, one specific element I refer to is Schinkel's pillar vault system. I tried to find a new construction method, so instead of the ceilings and the walls, I built the, the spaces in between it. Yes, the Young Talent Architecture Award was born as part of the European Union Prize for Contemporary Architecture, the Mies van der Rohe Award, because we wanted to know how uh, students were dealing with their graduation projects at schools all over uh, Europe. The jury was startled by the originality of this project, an intellectual piece of work which is extremely solid the ruin, the money, the bank. Loot had ongelooflijk veel gevoel voor vorm, maar toch was hij in zijn beleving een functioneel architect. Hij wilde functie in het gebouw geven en niet de vorm. En op een gegeven moment kreeg hij het idee van ik moet iets maken waardoor de bank oprijst uit de ruïne. These projects uh, essentially dealt with the relationship between old and new, what to keep and what not to keep, what to revitalize, what to restore. The purpose of the project is to recover that forgotten and Latin landscape, converting it to public space, designing a new network of accesses and connecting the urban scenes. I decided to research about the origin of Madrid I found it a, like a net of underground infrastructures that belong to the city, like water supply um, facilities. All the infrastructure was not there anymore. I was really trying to, to recover that lost landscape. The jury was attracted by the complexity of the post-Brexit situation and how the author deals with a strong concept to reimagine this new situation. Matthew Gregorowski, London Metropolitan University. <laughs> mostly thinking about settling in a kind of rural landscape and uh, this was a settlement for a lot of elderly residents. Arriving in the forest you see the buildings kind of obscured amongst the tree trunks and one isn't really clear where it starts or where it ends. So you're really using the topography to make it more accessible for the elderly residents. These award-winning projects, sensitive approaches to strong ideas, the young talents behind these projects take up the responsibility and set up wonderful examples of good architectural and urbanist citizenry. A really happy moment for me at the end of my studies, so it's something incredible actually. Uh, the new generations are always the ones that still have the dreams and the energy, so we need to be connected with them.